In this web lecture, we show you how to use shortcuts, spell check, save as PDF, and track changes in Microsoft Word 2010. When using Microsoft Word, you can save time by learning a few keyboard shortcuts. A very useful keyboard shortcut is Control Z, which is a shortcut for undo. In other words, hold down the Control key and press the letter Z. For example, I often find that Microsoft Word will autocorrect or auto format my work. Here I make a numbered point and Word automatically indents the number with a tab. By using Control Z, however, I can instantly undo any unwanted changes, in this case, removing the indentation. Other commonly used keyboard shortcuts include Control C for copy and Control V for paste. You may find that if you remember these shortcuts that you end up using them quite a lot. If there are any other commands you find yourself frequently using, you can find the keyboard shortcut simply by hovering the cursor over the command icon in the ribbon at the top of the document. A little box should appear giving you the keyboard shortcut. For example, here we find the shortcut for bold is simply Control B. The quick access toolbar, which is located here, can also help you save time by giving you easy access to particular commands. Currently, my quick access toolbar displays save, undo, and redo. However, I can customize this toolbar by clicking here. For example, I always add spelling and grammar check to my toolbar because it's a feature I use a lot. Let's take a look at the spelling and grammar feature using my document containing text about the University of Manchester. Spell check is very easy to use and I recommend you always spell check your work. Having said that, spell check doesn't always get it right. It can flag up words which are actually correct or propose that you make changes which don't actually need to be made. Nonetheless, it is a useful safety net for picking up some genuine errors. Simply click the spelling and grammar icon on the quick access toolbar or go to review and then spelling and grammar. You can now go through your document. This is fairly self-explanatory. Click ignore once if you want to ignore the suggested change only on this occasion, or click ignore all if you want this word to always be ignored in the event it appears elsewhere in the document. Likewise, change will accept the suggested change only on this occasion and change all will always accept this suggested change if it appears elsewhere. Note that the spell check feature will only check your spelling and grammar. It will not pick up other errors and using spell check doesn't mean that what you have written actually makes any sense. So it is essential that you do properly proofread your work when you finish. Spell check is not a substitute for proofreading. Once you have finished your work and properly checked it over, you may need to save it in a different format. In particular, when you're submitting your work electronically, for example, into Blackboard, or publishing it in another way, it may be necessary to save in portable document format, also known as PDF format. Saving as a PDF will ensure your document retains the formatting that you intended. To save as a PDF document, Simply select File, Save As, and then select PDF. And then click Save. If you want to make further changes after saving as a PDF, you will need to return to the original Word file. 
Finally, I want to talk a little bit about the track changes feature of Microsoft Word. You may find this feature is more relevant in your future career rather than during your degree program, but it is a very useful feature. Track changes can help people easily proofread the work of others by making comments and suggested changes on a Word document. The document can then be returned to the author of the document who can easily go through and either accept or reject the suggested changes. So imagine we have been sent this document from someone else to check through. To use track changes, click review and then refer to the comments bar and the tracking bar. Comments are very easy to use. Simply highlight the text and click new comment to leave a comment. To suggest changes that we think needs to be made to the document, click the track changes button. Now, any changes that we make will be easy to follow. For example, notice that if you delete text rather than the text disappearing, it will be crossed out. Similarly, any new text appears in colour, so it is clear what changes are being made. When we have finished suggesting changes to the document, turn track changes off by clicking on the track changes button again. If we send the document back to the author, he or she can now click next or previous in the changes bar to go through the comments we made. All the author has to do is click accept to keep the proposed change or reject to remove the proposed change. And that concludes this video on shortcuts, spell check, save as PDF and track changes.